If you're wanting to buy an eSIM for travel or you're stuck in a socialist regime that only offers a few select carriers, you can buy SIM cards with Bitcoin without providing any information in minutes. My name's Darren, I help the everyday person like you and me use Bitcoin to help solve daily problems. In this video, we are gonna cover what you need to get a SIM card, services to use, how much they cost, the amount of data, features, and how long they last, how to make the purchase with Bitcoin, and at the end, I'll show you how to install it yourself. First, what I'm talking about today is how to purchase an eSIM, not a physical SIM. So an eSIM, you're able to purchase online. Physical SIM, you would have to go to a store and make that purchase by that physical SIM card. So to buy an eSIM with Bitcoin, you need an eSIM compatible device. And the most popular compatible eSIM phones is the Google Pixel line. If you have another phone or buying another phone, make sure it is eSIM compatible and is carrier unlocked. Once you have an eSIM compatible device and your device is unlocked, you have to choose what service to purchase your eSIM from. So you can purchase SIM cards for any country you're going to or currently in. However, services that serve your ability to purchase the eSIM might differ. So here in North America, there's two I would recommend. Number one is silent.link. You can purchase eSIMs in your region. You can either pay as you go. So you're going to fill your account with Bitcoin and you can, you can pay for data as you use it and it will drain those funds out of your account. Or you can purchase a monthly plan just as you're typically used to with Bitcoin. The best part about Silent Link, not only the monthly plans, but it count, you have the option to purchase a phone number along with just data and you don't need to provide any information at all, making it extremely private to purchase an eSIM. Now for me, I only usually travel for a few days, maybe a few weeks at a time. So I'm not looking to load my account, take that risk or purchase a monthly data plan. I'm typically looking for just one time throwaway eSIMs. And the second company I'd recommend to do so would be BitRefill. So BitRefill is a gift card company where you can purchase gift cards with Bitcoin. Now with BitRefill, they offer eSIMs in specific jurisdictions. You can choose the country that you are going to purchase the eSIM for and the amount of data that you are wanting to purchase, anywhere from two to 15 gigs, depending how addicted you are to your phone. Before I show you how to purchase a one-time eSIM on BitRefill, you do need a BitRefill account. Uh, use my link below if you wanna help support me. You can sign up there. All you need is an email and password. You have a BitRefill account. So again, you can make this extremely private if you like. Once you have a Bit BitRefill account, you can access BitRefill on a laptop, uh, phone. I'm gonna do it on an iPad to show you big screen today. So we're gonna go to shop and we're gonna look at all the eSIMs available. I'm going to, for example, we're gonna go to the USA and you have all these different plans and what to purchase. I'm just gonna pick the one gig 17 plans. You can see the price in US dollars, price in Bitcoin, or in sats, 4,000 sats, or $3.12, it's a hell of a deal. You can enjoy uh, data with high speed internet. Now, BitRefill does not come with a phone number, so that's one of the negatives of BitRefill. So I'm gonna add it to the cart. We're gonna check out, and it's gonna bring out a payment method for you to pay. I'm gonna choose Lightning. If anyone likes to know, I use Phoenix Wallet for my Lightning. On, on Phoenix, we're going to press Send, and then uh, we will scan the QR code on BitRefill. And I'm going to pay this invoice. Now it'll say Delivery in Progress on BitRefill. Because this is my iPad and doesn't have eSIM capabilities or a few purchases on a laptop, uh, when you go to your account, you're going to have your products. You're going to go on eSIM and you'd be able to activate eSIM right away if this was your phone. It would automatically connect. Uh, so that's the best way to do it. For me, I have to uh, try it another way because I'm going to get an error here. So we're going to choose another method and then I'm going to activate it via the QR code. The settings on my phone, we are gonna add another SIM at the bottom, and then we are going to press set up eSIM, and we're gonna scan this QR code, and we'll press set up. And so it's setting up the eSIM now on my device to use. So to activate eSIM, uh, you're gonna to go to your settings, and then you would choose the 
eSIM that is listed there for you and you'd press use SIM. And it's as simple as that. Sometimes I have a bit of problems connecting to it. I will uh, adjust the roaming settings, just turn the roaming on and off and it usually will work fine. And it's worked in multiple different countries that I've tried it in and uh, I can't recommend enough. I think buying an eSIM with Bitcoin is one of the easiest ways I've ever come across to purchase an eSIM for both privacy, saving money, and travel. I think it's a no-brainer. Better than going to the store when you arrive in that country and buying an eSIM on the shelf at a gas station or going through your current carrier back home and just paying for a hundred dollar 14 day travel plan that you don't really need you can buy a disposable eSIM for just two to fifteen dollars depending on the amount of data that you want if you're new to bitcoin want to learn how to use bitcoin hold bitcoin buy bitcoin what the best services are other tools to use i have lots of videos on my channel if you have any questions please put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And uh, thanks for watching.